quality control is an important part of making sure your system is functioning appropriately. In this video, we will show you how to perform a quality control test using an isothermal bottle to measure thoracic gas volume. To connect the isothermal bottle to the platinum elite, first remove the screw on the bulkhead cover and open the cover. Next, disconnect the umbilical connector from the purple lure fitting, which is the mouth and MIP MET port, and attach the tube from the isothermal bottle to this port. Testing is performed with somebody sitting inside the platinum elite. In brief suite, add a new patient for the test subject and be sure to check the BTPS correction off checkbox so that testing is performed in the syringe mode. When entering the subject's height and weight, add 12 pounds to the subject's weight to account for the cabin volume displaced by the bottle. Click on the PLETH tab at the bottom of the screen to go to the PLETH testing screen. Place the subject in the box with the isothermal bottle and seal the door. Wait approximately 30 seconds to allow for equilibration of the box. You may want to use a book to stabilize the bottle on your lap and to prevent the bottle from warming up. Click the TGV start button and have the subject perform tidal breathing with the prevent flow sensor. The flow sensor does not have to be attached to the patient head of the box. After four stable tidal breaths, press the space bar to close the shutter. When the shutter closes, the subject pumps the syringe on the isothermal bottle at a rate of once per second. Note, when the shutter closes, the subject in the box must hold their breath while the shutter is closed. When the effort is complete, simply press the space bar again to repeat the procedure. Make sure the subject pumps the syringe using wrist action rather than moving their entire arm. Excessive movement can cause artifact, which will change the measured values. After four to five efforts, testing is complete and the results reviewed. Draw each of the efforts and verify that the angles of the efforts are correct. If the angle is not correct, adjust the line of best fit as you would with any patient test using the entire tracing. When all angles have been verified, select several acceptable efforts to average. The average measured TGV values should be compared with the volume of the isothermal bottle. The average of the recovered values should be within plus or minus 5% of the value shown on the label of the isothermal bottle. And that's it. If the measured TGV values are not within range, or if you have any questions, please contact technical support at 1-800-333-4137.